Wow, the conversation we've all been waiting for. Yes, indeed. Finally, we're joined by singer, songwriter, vocalist. I'm mm -hmm. going to add that one. Powerhouse. Mm -hmm. Michael Olaika Abdul. Mike Abdul. Everyone Ooh. knows him yes, by that. Yes, indeed. <laughs> now, he rose to fame in the early 2000s, being a member of the uh, now defunct Midnight Crew, known for hit songs. Igwe, if you guys remember, Igwe. Yes. <laughs> now turning out music, content via Spaghetti Records. He is right here with us. You are welcome, Mike Abdul. Grand to have you here. Thank you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> what's the meaning of defunct, please? Aha, mm. top. Mm -hmm. I knew I was going to get in trouble with that <laughs> word. <laughs> okay, no more in, uh, in, in the group, you know, uh, I guess. Yeah, uh, I'm just trying to make, yeah, it's not working. It's not working. It's not working. <laughs> working. But well, it's right. glad to have you here as Mike Abdul. Good to be here. I mean, um, 2000 was, what, 22 years? Wow! <laughs> <laughs> 22 years ago. 22 Honestly, years yes, ago. Yes, so. And that Amazing. has been, it's an iconic record. Yes. I don't think there's anybody who lives in Nigeria that hasn't heard that song, yeah. no matter your religious preference or whatever. It is Seriously. a big, powerful song. Yeah, all. big way. It was everywhere. Played in the clubs. Mm. <laughs> Even yes. in the clubs, exactly. <laughs> yeah. you, know, you had the, uh, you know, when you're traveling and the buses and everything. Yeah. And you're, sure. All those speakers and That's everything. So but <laughs> even, even all over the world in other countries. Oh, yes. Was taken up. Uh, oh, but yeah. I, I was wondering, um, where was the most unlikely place you realized that people knew you? Mm. Good. Um, it was... Um, <clears throat> okay, I, I went to get a house for someone. And uh, okay. beside the house, there was this uh, drinking bar. Oh, wow. Um, so while I was uh, discussing with the uh, landlord, the corner of my eye. I knew some people were waiting for me with bottles. <laughs> uh, uh, bottles. bottles oh, three of them. Oh, they have green, green bottles like that. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? So I just, I just told the land, please, oh, please. Yeah, please attend to <laughs> this corner eye people. Mm. You know, and uh, I went to meet them. They said, yeah, yeah, Mike Abdul. We just want you to know you are the reason why we listen to gospel music. Wow. I said, that's why you're waiting. With wow. green bottle. Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> green bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Wow. <laughs> good. I'm like, wow, that's, that's good. amazing. Okay. I'll, I'll keep doing what I'm doing. I have an interesting question here, and I always like to, you know, uh, um, test temperature with uh, gospel artists. Mm. Now, most people hear gospel artists and think that it is a, you know, it's a, uh, what's the word? Mm. It's not a song that you play on mm. radio, maybe during a regular weekday or yeah. something. Yeah. Like, they always reserve it for Sunday. I am not in this school of thought, by the way. Yeah. Okay. Now, as a gospel artist, knowing that your song or, or the songs that you sing actually transcends through, pass, doesn't, has no boundary. Correct. How does that make you feel and how do you accomplish that? Yeah, I think people just don't like feeling bad. Nah, ha, 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 They don't like ha, feeling bad. You know, like, gospel music makes you like... It brings out the guilt. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, so you want to leave that till Sunday. Please, can we just... Monday, to, can you leave us alone? <laughs> yeah. Sunday morning, self, it's morning from mm. 12. Can we just change this thing? You wow. know? I think that's what affects people. Mm -hmm. That's that's what also affects uh, gospel music as it is. You know, but of course, um, we keep moving, we mm. move, and... Uh, yeah. We keep doing what we do. But yeah. your gospel music doesn't, it's not held by that boundary. It, honestly, so it don't, it, it's not held how do you by make, it. How do, you, how do you make that happen? Well, it's because I believe, and it's because I know that eventually, after God, not God. Mm. They know how you want to run, 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 you go enter. You go say, God, why me? Mm. Say, hey, say that God will sing about him to you. Hallelujah. Yes, so. you know, so that's just what it is. <laughs> you know? nice. I, I felt like there was uh, mm. this pressure. Uh, especially earlier on, uh, with the kind of music you were putting out there, because it felt like there was a movement, okay, uh, a more energetic movement in the gospel uh, music industry. Correct. It was very reverend before, you know. Everybody was going very yeah. subtle and hallelujah <laughs> until you guys. Yes, yeah, so. Mm. Um, so did you ever feel that pressure? Um, and what are the funniest things you ever heard about your style of music? Oh, yes. Uh, not just heard, That's though. Experienced. Mm. I was singing in the church, and um, immediately I landed on the Fuji. The pastor stood up and stood uh, beside me with the microphone. And any time I sang one song, he would just say, we don't do that here. <laughs> wow! Oh. And I was in front of the people already. I was already oh, on. You already know. started wow. the first note. So he was changing the, no, change the lyrics. I said, okay, sir. <laughs> oh, wow. And we went on like that for 30 minutes. Wow. So that's one, um, that's one very, very funny wow. uh, one that happened with me. Of course, following year, mm. the church brought me back, mm. said they wanted me again. I said, which church? Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm not coming. Oh, for <laughs> and they said, no, 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 pastor is here. Said, eh, eh, young man, don't wait. Eh, I know better now. Yeah. Please come. Oh. Don't disturb me. I'll sit down. Oh, okay. I'll I will sing in. with you. Oh, wow. Uh, now, wow. So you get plenty of these church appearances and people who want you to come and do your music at churches. Yes, please. <clears throat> However, now one would think that this is out of the, you know, yeah. out of your heart, your passion for the Lord and everything. Do you make money from this? <laughs> Well, from, from the gospel, gospel, do you make I, money from I, the gospel? I do. Because yeah. The guy said, I do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I do, because they, they cover logistics. So. Mm. And uh -huh. uh, even beyond logistics, they like me to look good. Mm. And they're doing well. Mm. Serious. Mm. Mm. What do you think? Jesus. Oh, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think Jesus thinks about this, though? Mm. Looking good. Uh, Looking good, money. driving a big car and everything. Making money. Mm. Making money for my name. You, you down this there. This is where you get to motivate us. <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. Jesus, you see, eh? Jesus loves it. Mm. Because if, okay, you're using his name to make money. Mm. As you have said it, you understand what I'm saying? Would you prefer that you're using the devil's name to make money? Mm. Of course not. Well, are we talking? Yep. That's you what understand look what I'm at saying? It. I'm that's just looking at Tito. You, you be a very good con man, but that's what we're <laughs> <laughs> The reverse is Thank not the God. case. I know that there's new music coming out, or that's yeah. just come out. Yes, so today, video today, yeah. today, today, Blessing Now. Nice. Mike Abdul, Blessing Now, drops today. Dropped already, actually. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, uh, yeah, mm. I'm super excited. No, that's me, you know, sending a message to my world, you know, waking up the consciousness of the sleeping destiny. I'm trying to tell them, you can't be waiting for a miracle. Mm. You are the miracle mm. God has made. You're supposed to be happy. That's the video we're looking at right now. Get it, we should do a challenge. We're getting it. Yeah, yeah, we should. Yeah. I think we just started it. That's the blessing now challenge. Blessing yeah, now challenge. So. Woo! Uh, I love that. Go. We started it here. Are you? We started it here. Thank you. That's, that's dropped already. Coming out today, you said. Dropped already, yes, so. Okay. Dropped today. Is that part of an album that you're preparing? Um, yes, it's part of an album. It's uh, The album is going to be called Blessing Now. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we're, we're, we're starting with this. Holy that's shot. your band, yeah? yeah? That's my band, yeah. And your band is called? Mike, Mike Abdul. Abdul. Mike Abdul, simple. Yes, so. yeah. Not Mike Abdul and the Sunshine. Oh, Abdul. wow. Mike Abdul. Mike Abdul. <laughs> I, I, I really yeah. felt the, the way the sound was coming out. Yes, that, that studio looked mm. very special. Was that in Nigeria? Very, very in Nigeria, Victoria Island. Really? Nice. Okay. Being Gadinuga Studio. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. So, <laughs> there was a time you had to go abroad to get that kind of quality. Yes, yeah, so. You, know? you have to um, go to South Africa to get that. Things have changed. Things right? have changed. Mm. I think we're, Nigerians are daring. They've always been daring, mm. you know, and um, we're willing to make things work and uh, we're pushing the limits. That's why I, I sing songs like The Blessing Is Now. We're not waiting for the future. You're not the leader of tomorrow. They lie to you. You should start now. Mm. Leader of what? Who will give it to you? Nobody. Mm. A blessing is now. Hey. What are you doing for gospel music? I mean, mm. there's fewer and fewer people who are in for gospel right now. Mm. Uh, I, I believe that you would like to, you know, see more of uh, people your kind do your kind of music. But mm. what are you specifically doing for gospel music? Well, um, what we're doing is uh, we, we're talking, we're attending seminars, speaking to people. Uh, my book is coming out uh, next year, How to Write Your Hit Song. I'm not joking, you understand what I'm saying? Mm. I'm not playing, mm. you get what I'm saying? So, How to Write Your Hit Song, so I'm putting a book out there. Nice. You know, reaching out to young people, telling them to understand the essence of what they are doing. Uh, you're not just here because everybody's doing it. Mm. You're not here because that's the way they sound. No, you have to understand you, put yourself in it, and speak to your world. You're not, you're not in with to. using the gospel for advocacy. Or are you? I mean, talking about Nigeria, mm. the instances that are going on, corruption and all of that. Do you think that that's a good mix? Whether you like it or not, you're in the world. Anything that affects this world affects you. You have to talk about it. There you go. Wow. You're going to vote, Sabi. Mm. Mm. Yes. As a Christian, as a pastor, as whatever, you're going to vote. And you're going to vote for somebody. So somehow you're supporting someone. Mm. You're on his side. You have to take sides. You have to take sides, yes. That's very interesting. Good I, response. I have to say I appreciate you. Um, this is a vocal powerhouse. Yeah. Right here. Oh, thank Trust you. And, true. and, you know, like, sometimes you just wonder where that strength continuously comes from.
22 years Ooh. later, wow. and still looking this good. Somebody help. Looking blessed yeah. in the Lord. Blessing Some of our producers now. weren't born uh, then. Where's Zainab? <laughs> wow, <laughs> really? <laughs> <Best man. laughs> this one. Yeah. yeah, so, um, you know, honestly, thank you. Thank you for uh, thank having you me. Thank you for, for coming to talk to us thank today. Thank you. Tell you Thanks what we're going to do. Thanks for putting out this great music.